Welcome to the Built to Last video series. I'm Sarah and I'll be your host as we travel around the country to meet with some of the world's most innovative manufacturers. We're touring shop floors and getting up close with massive machinery. And it's all in an effort to show how products you use every day truly are built to last. Today we've traveled just outside of Cleveland to Wadsworth, Ohio. We're visiting one of the world's largest manufacturers, Parker Hannafin. Here, they're known for making the Parker T-slot aluminum frame. And if you don't know what that is, that's okay. We're gonna go inside and find out. All right, so here we are, and we are gonna now learn a little bit more about what Parker Hannafin does. And so I'm happy to introduce to you Mario and Miguel. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank, Thank you for inviting us. excited to learn about what you do here. What are we talking about today? What's the specific um, product that oh, you wanna talk about? Oh, a very important product from Parker Hannafin. This is the Parker T-slot aluminum. For someone who doesn't know, like myself, sure. what is T-slot framing? Well, basically, when we say a T-slot, look at the slots here. They're shaped like a letter T. Mm -hmm. So that's where you're putting your, your, uh, your T nuts and making your fastening connections either here uh, or also at the ends as well. But you can take this and modify it and use this to create you know, like your tables and workbenches, uh, lean structures as well. It's very modular as well. So you can take this apart to create possibly something else or add another piece to it. Think of an adult or an industrial Lego or Tinker Toy. So you literally can take this particular piece of profile and create just about whatever you want to out of it. Mario, talk a little bit about uh, you know what makes you guys different. We are taking the, the aluminum extrusion business to that next level where we're introducing uh, more digital tools. We are actually introducing our Parker T-Slide uh, aluminum design architect, which is the design software that not only our engineers will be able to use, but our customers will be able to use it as well. The customer can uh, download it from the web, they can get a bill of material, they can generate a PDF data sheet, um, they can take that file and actually send it in to our engineers and to like a design center as well. And then the nice thing is the customer has the same type of software, we have the same platform as well, and we can speak on the same level. When you're putting the profiles together, you're, it, it, it's able to figure out what fasteners you need, uh, where the holes go, and again, all that information comes up in the bill of material. So you don't necessarily have to deal with this product on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, I'm excited to go and see how, how you go from step one to completion, like you said, keeping that end product and end game in mind. So um, let's go check out the shop floor. All right, let's do let's it. Do it. This is where it starts. I'm excited. This is where all the extrusion is stored. Okay. So we get the raw material in and we have all the racks so we keep our full bars before it goes to our next station where it gets cut. But these things are, these boxes are pretty heavy. Can I try and lift one? Wow. Okay, maybe I need to work out more. <laughs> you can't do it either. <laughs> of the process happens right here. So yep. tell me tell me about what's going on behind me. We got Brad yep. working a pretty awesome machine behind us. What's he doing? Oh yeah. He's taking the extrusion. He took it from the storage area and now he's taking it and he's cutting that suit length and also he's holding that four thousandths of an inch tolerance as well. Yeah, talk to me about four thousandths of an inch. I mean it has to be that precise. That's our tolerance. That's what that's what we publish in our catalogs and that's what we hold ourselves to as far as like getting the, the material square. Yeah. And making sure because that if you don't get it right, it stacks up across the whole assembly and therefore can throw your uh, assembly off. We'll have Mario tell us what John is doing. John is taking the end of the extrusion. And you see he's going through and putting a half hole at the end of the extrusion. So basically, you can take that now and be able to thread a fastener in there yeah. to be able to connect the pieces together. Now, we need to make sure that we put the holes in the right place, too. And again, the information that's in the packet on the cart is going to tell you where to put the holes at what distance. And we have uh, Larry here setting up the machine, and as you see right there, putting the hole in and also cleaning it and deburring as well to make sure those sharp edges aren't in the extrusion. I've had um, companies before where they send you things and it's, it, it doesn't line up, and that is the most frustrating experience oh. <laughs> when you're trying to do it and it doesn't, yeah, it's not fitting right. 
I don't mean to say that you have some competition with your job, but you might have a little competition with your job. Oh my goodness, training you too well. Yeah. All right, so talk to me about these panels. So we have different types of panels. Sometimes customers, they want a certain color because they have certain branding things they want sure. to do. So yeah. we have some uh, various colors here. And so from here, we take it, put it on the saw, cut it to the right uh, length, right. and then it goes into the assembly area. And this is where all the magic happens. This is where it all comes together without yeah. sounding corny. Yeah. Our guys here, our girls here, are able to take those items, put them together, and just basically come out, in this case, with a cabinet. So this might be used for a lab, I think is what you said yeah. earlier, or a test. Did I break something? No, you didn't. <laughs> This is strong stuff. Okay. Yeah. Parker made this well. It's exactly. not going to break. And now this is it. Yes. This is the exciting reveal. It's the big reveal. So can I do the honors? Let's check it All out. All right. So not only do you have the aluminum extrusion that's in here, but also some custom additions as well. So if customers have certain things they want to attach to it. Uh, we can do that too. We can accommodate those things uh, as well. Mario, you were a great tour guide. I have to say that when I came into the shop floor, I had no idea what a T-slot was. Oh. And, and now I feel very educated on the process. So you did a really good job. Really? So you ready to build? You ready to, you know, take the test on it? So, sh I don't know about taking a test or building anything. I'm going to leave that to you guys. Oh. But next time I see one of these carts or any of these um, products, I'll, I'll think of you. So. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. you did a good job explaining it. Hey. Nice work. Hey, thank Thanks. you so much. Thanks for hanging out with us today. If you want to learn more about Parker's innovative design tool, visit parker.com. And to learn how your company can have an amazing digital experience too, check out partsolutions.com. Thanks for joining us.